Welcome back. I'm back with another makeup tutorial uh, since I'm staying at home all these days. Filming a look that I wanted to film for a long time and I had this idea in mind for a long time and I also received um, a new Super Shock shadow from Colourpop that I wanted and it's this Gorgina, this minty kind of color. My e.l.f. Camo Concealer, this is the hydrating version. This is in the color Light Peach. And I will just use a little bit of this um, on my eyelid, blend it, uh, and this will be kind of like my base. And then, by the way, I like this concealer more than the matte Camo Concealer. Okay, now I will use a little bit of um, this minty green aquamarine kind of shadow from the Huda Beauty uh, Mercury Retrograde. Taking this brush, which I love to use for the crease, this is the uh, Zoeva 228 because it's just like tapered but not super big, like for example this one for the crease. So you can see this is bigger, fluffier. This one is a bit more tapered and a bit more smaller. And I think it works great with um, lots of creases. And I'm just using this in the crease to have a bit kind of definition with green color, with a minty green color <laughs> definition. But um, I think this will go nicely with eyeshadow that I will use from Colourpop. Now the star of the show, the minty eyeshadow. This is called Mint For You. I'm using this just on the eyelid with a brush and then I will top it off with my finger. To have that second layer a bit more opaque. Even though this will be gorgeous, you know, just like a wash of color applied lightly. I like this kind of effect as well. I wanted to say, um, with this kind of minty, not only minty, but with these pastel more colors, it's very important to blend them, if you apply them in the crease, blend them with a clean brush or maybe something like your natural skin tone color, something like this, yeah, for me, because it's more like a an ivory shade, it's not super yellow, it's quite neutral, it's not yellow, it's not pinky, it's not darker, uh, it's just kind of like my skin tone. Otherwise, if you buy something else or if you want to mix it with like browns, purples, greens, with other shades or darker shades, it will become muddy, like 100% all the time. So it's okay if you apply them on the eyelid, these kind of shades, pastel shades, because um, you can mix any other colors in the crease, they will still look fine. But if you want to mix this with another shade, especially in the crease, it will become ashy, muddy, not really pretty. So I ran out of memory <laughs> on my card, so I had to transfer the videos that I had in the card uh, on my hard drive, and yes, I'm back. But I did um, basically the next step for my eye look. So I wanted to use this blue uh, cream eyeshadow and cream eye pigment from Incredible Cosmetics. And I'm mixing this with a little bit of Inglot Duraline. So as you can see here, I wanted to create this half eyeliner and also this kind of, I don't know what you call this, dripping eyeliner look thingy in here. Um, I don't know, I just, I think it looks really fun.
so that's kind of it they're not really symmetrical but this will do for now now i will use on the lashes my collection of mascara and then on top i will use the colourpop one the blue one and then i will add lashes and then i will use again the blue mascara to have those intense blue lashes or at least in theory this is what i would like to do in order to have those intense blue lashes but we'll see now i'm using this simple black mascara before just so that the blue will kind of stick to the mascara better okay so i applied the mascara on the lashes then i applied them on and then i applied another layer of mascara so these are the lashes i mean you can still see that they're kind of bluish but not really like so moving on to the face, I will be using this little boy from Good Molecules, the ultra hydrating facial oil. I like using a face oil before foundation. I feel like it makes my skin super smooth, hydrated. I'm using a little bit of the Givenchy Ten Couture everywhere. I will just apply this all over. Hopefully it's not too dark. I think it's not. And then I will blend it with my Elf Beauty Sponge. I like using this foundation with the face oil. Okay, so this foundation is a bit too dark for me right now, so I will use my e.l.f. concealer. We'll try to lighten this up in some areas. I will use my Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Sculpting Palette. And as a blush, a Salty Siren from Nude Sticks. And now the mascara here. When the tickets had to get in my coolers, you were one in a million that ain't a man like you. Like you. Like you. As a highlighter, I will be using my Givenchy Tenko to Radiant Drops because I love this so much. I honestly don't want to use anything else right now. And it's a bit scary. That's it for the look. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, let me know if you like this look. I think it's quite interesting. So, um, I will see you in my next one. Take care.